Cool, cool. So we're nearly there with the first section of this kind of DJ live performance kind of scenario. Let's get on with the chroma keying or the green screen, green screen element. Key this key concept is kind of the final piece of the puzzle. After this, we will go deeper into composure and we'll get some more awesome features sorted. But understanding this green screening is the final piece really for a basic setup. And I think a lot of people know what chroma keying is. It's basically recognizing the green element and turning that into alpha so that your person is situated in the space a bit more but another interesting concept to get the green screen to look really really good is called despill so when you key out your green you will probably have a little bit of edge a little bit of edge going on a little bit of borders that is the kind of shade in between the green and the shoulder or the hair uh, that is not keyed out because you've told it to key green it's not going to key also a, a kind of shade of bluey green so one way you can fix this is to bring bring the border in a bit and add despill what despill will do is change the hue of this edge pixel so instead of being a green halo it could be closer to the color that it's supposed to be also good thing about despill is that it will if you break down the word it's preventing the color from spilling into the subject say you have water or a reflective surface in your green screened off scene the green that is surrounding that will be reflected on the surface so to situate your subject in the space a bit more you want to add this despill which is going to change the hue of those reflections and those elements so if you're in a dark room you could change it from green to a dark gray or if you're in a bright room you could change that green into like an orange glow so despill is super useful for situating your subjects in the space you're jamming with the hottest disc jacket. Okay, cool. We're nearly there for this first part of the tutorial. Uh, we've got our DJ, we've got our background element, and we've got our prog in front of the DJ. Awesome stuff. So next step is to green screen out this DJ. So let's get on with that. So we've got this foreground element. We'll go here and add a transform pass. This is going to be a chroma key. Drop this down. Start by adding a key color. And we can use the eyedropper. Um, also, I know it's just green, so I'm just gonna make it like pretty much 100% green. And next, we can just go D vignette outer. That's that's literally the basis of doing a very basic one. Um, if I just pause my OBS feed, we can see we've still got some edge bits going on here. That's called despill. That's where the where the kind of shade between the green and the shoulder is. Uh, causing this kind of haloing effect so what we need to add is a despill afterwards so chuck in another transform pass and we need to go despill and here we can select the color that we want to set as the despill so this time i'm going to ink drop it and when you see him go fully into color and just have that halo change color you know you're in the right place so we got this despill set he's obviously still got a gray halo so after adding your despill then what we can do is add another element which is going to be a compositing element material pass. And if we search alpha, we get an erode alpha. So this is super useful for bringing, bringing that edge in. So the good thing about having this render target up is we can really zoom in. Uh, you can up the samples. It's obviously going to impact performance, but look at doing it at 60. But also you can just explore the other, the other compositing element material passes. You know, you can duplicate that. Something else that can just blend out those edges a bit and kind of situate them in the space a little bit more would be this compositing post process pass. Add an element and blend bloom. You know, this is obviously an effect, but this can help to kind of situate them in the space and blend out those jagged edges. So Sig Sig, the frog and the DJ are going back to back now. He's very much situated in the space. Next up, we're just going to do a bit of a bonus one where I'll just get this setting together a bit, reposition him into a different place and just meddle with the color grading and create the setting a bit more just to finish off this DJ scene. Okay, Wicked, we are pretty much there. I hope you really understand composure as a result of this and you can get some awesome live performances going on. Next up, I'm just going to build a little party and do some final color grading and situate my DJ in my scene, get a bit of a party going on with these 3D elements around it. 
and maybe just demonstrate that this is all real time. We can now stream as a DJ in a 3D setting and that's super awesome. So next up, we're just gonna have some fun and do these finishing touches, but I really hope these tutorials have built some understanding for you. Please let me know if it's helped you out and be great to see what you make with it. <laughs>